Hi, today we're going to talk about orchid care. And one of the more common orchids you can find nowadays is the moth orchid or the Phalaenopsis orchid. It's a very easy orchid to grow and that's why they're very popular. Um, you basically get them in, in flower like this and they have these long flower spikes that come up. Uh, one of the keys is that they'll reflower on these same spikes. So you don't want to cut them off after they finish flowering. This one's beginning to lose some of its flowers. But you can also see that it's starting to branch here. And it will branch right here too. And so you'll get multiple flower branches off the same stalk if you just leave them alone. And then you'll get multiple blooms that way. One of the things that people always are concerned about with the orchids is they, they come in this loose medium here, this bark medium. And then they have roots that sort of hang out the side of the pot like this. You don't want to cut these off. These are important. These are good roots. And so when you water a plant like this, even though the water goes through very quickly, you want to actually make sure that these roots are also watered at the same time. So I'd take this to a sink and spritz it a couple times with lukewarm water, room temperature water, just until these roots begin to turn green. And that's your sign that they've actually absorbed enough water for that water period. And you'd only water this maybe once a week, something like that. Uh, they'll grow for quite a while in the same pot. I wouldn't worry about repotting them for a couple year period at least. Uh, when they get a few older leaves, they'll actually turn yellow like this, but you can just clip that off or prune it off. And essentially this plant will be happy in an east or west window, normal room temperatures, and they'll go for quite a few years just like this and be very, very happy. Some people have problems reblooming them. But basically, if you take them outside in the summertime and let them get a little brighter light and then leave them out a little bit longer in the summer so they get some cool nights and that initiates flower buds and then bring them back in for the uh, fall period before it gets too cold. And that's about it. Very easy to grow and very easy to enjoy.